Good morning and welcome back. It's now 841. The number of alcohol-related deaths in America has more than doubled in the last 20 years. According to a new study, between 1999 and 2017, researchers studied 1 million alcohol-related deaths. Causes of death include liver disease, overdose from alcohol, or alcohol mixed with drugs. But researchers believe the actual number of deaths is an undercount. Here to tell us more is Dr. Brian Jackson with the Greenfield Center. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, you're welcome. I cannot think of a better time to have this conversation than on a Sunday that is so often referred to as Sunday Fun Day for so many. Sure, sure, sure. A day people get out and they have brunch. Brunch leads to several drinks and then you're headed home and relaxing. You think this is an undercut, this number, this, or an undercount, excuse me. Well, yes, I do. I think it's an undercount because, you know, I mean, it's uh, direct, uh, uh, you know, accidents as a result of drinking mm -hmm. are very obvious. Uh, cirrhosis of the liver directly related to alcohol consumption is very obvious. However, there's a subtle part of this, too. It's, you know, the liver can only process one drink per hour. And people who are binge drinking mm -hmm. and new, the new drinks that are out there now that have a higher, you know, alcohol content, the alcohol is not processing um, through the liver as quickly, and it's spilling over into other areas of the body, which is you know, creating problems with the pancreas, et cetera. When we talk about these numbers going up, do you think it could be a case in that we just have so much more technology and tools available to us that we're able to dissect these deaths and examine them more closely, or do you think the numbers are, in fact, actually reflective and are going up? Well, one thing that we can't deny is there's 50% more uh, uh, um, appearances at emergency rooms mm -hmm. where people have had, um, you know, an alcohol-related respiratory problem or actually blood uh, alcohol poisoning. Um, but in the past, I think that doctors were reluctant to put that on a death certificate, that it was directly related to alcohol. But now we see that hypertension, heart disease, even mental illness, uh, as the alcohol affects the frontal lobe of the brain where there's depression and anxiety that's becoming more prevalent that needs to be treated as a result of the alcohol consumption. And there are so many things to take into consideration during this current climate. One thing that I look to in almost every aspect of our lives is marketing. Mm -hmm. We have so many new marketing campaigns geared towards so many different people that are flashy and sexy and vibrant and really just scream for your attention. Sure. Yeah, there's so many drinks out there now that have a, a higher alcohol content, uh, content, a higher sugar content. Mm -hmm. The sugar content gives you a dopamine goody and then you have um, you know disrupted sleep as a result of the alcohol and the, and the sugar that's in your in your alcoholic beverage you talked about binge drinking but studies also show people are consuming stronger drinks because of the flavored alcohol trend that is taking a hold so strongly yeah like you said it's everywhere you know and the the appeal to be a part of but unfortunately um, there are some people who start to have problems as a result of it um, family problems financial problems and health problems and I think that this is really something that doctors are taking into consideration when they meet with their patients about how much you consume in terms of your blood pressure, mm -hmm. your heart, your sugar levels. You know, we see people that come to treatment and they stop drinking and their blood pressure numbers come down and their uh, sugar numbers come down. One simple remedy for this, for this problem is just don't drink. But if you do drink, drink in moderation and be cognizant of what it is that you're consuming. Yeah, and that you just need to check yourself on that. I mean, if you determine for yourself that you're only going to have a couple of drinks and you find out you're drinking six drinks, you know, who has control? You or the alcohol. So, but oh, yeah, like you that. just, who you has control? Yeah, you, you really, you really need to, to take a look at it and see if it's, uh, it's causing problems. Or and not. that is the good news. Alcohol related deaths rank as one of the top most preventable. Absolutely. And I think awareness, death. and I appreciate you having me here, is just getting it out there, you know, that Absolutely. alcohol is really toxic to our body in, in large amounts. Doctor, thank you so much thank for you. coming okay. in on Sunday. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you.